Everybody, as everyone getting ready to take the reasons on 22nd, which is Wednesday, everybody should be preparing for reasons. And one of my students, I'm so excited, one of my students sent me this problem from 2022. Take a look. Take you 10 years ago to help you understand that static electricity also can create electric current and light a bulb. Let's go. 2013. You saw that there are how many ways you can create the voltage? Two, Two. ways, right? One no, is by three. no, no. One is by lemon battery. Other one is you have a loop and you move the magnet. Where is the magnet? Can you give me a magnet? So you have a you have a loop. You have a loop and you move the magnet in and out. You can create the voltage, right? And voltage can kick the electrons. And when electron moves, then what happens? You can light up the bulb. bulb. Now, what if what if you have the magnet? Hold the magnet. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So the field starts from here and goes here, right? Mm -hmm. Field starts from here. So arrow starts from here and arrow ends over here, right? Okay, good. Yeah. From north to south. So everybody knows that. Now, you saw three years ago, we did create the voltage by moving this one in and out of the loop. Now we're going to do the other one. Now we're going to move this one. This one is not connected to any battery, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to move this one up and down right mm -hmm. this is the way you also can create what voltage so three ways you can create voltage one is by lemon battery or any battery right? just volt away the other two way is the faraday's way right yeah. faraday's way you have the loop and you move the magnet in and out of the loop you create the current other one is you have the magnet you move the wire mm -hmm. wire in, um, up and down mm -hmm. and you create the Voltage. Yeah, voltage. Once you have the voltage, what can you do with the voltage? Uh, light and light bulb. Well, voltage can kick the electrons. What electrons do? Uh, oh, the light the current. current. Yeah, that's because because the definition of current is what? The, the charges, charging. moving charge. Changing current to yeah. yeah. Changing Q changing. over changing current. Yeah, and changing charge over time. Charge. And very good. All right. Okay. Now, other thing we want to tell you that electron moves from the... The, the, the current moves from positive terminal to yeah. negative terminal, but electron moves from the uh, negative, negative terminal to, to positive. That's terminal. the difference between conventional current and electron current. Okay, very good. Then this problem. All right, folks. So let's try to figure out how to solve this problem. So what's the problem, problem asking? Um, it's asking you have a wire that is not connected to a circuit, and you move it down. Um, do you need? Uh, do you need? Which of these is true? Do you need the circuit? To create the, do you need the circuit to light up the bulb? No. What category does it fall? We show three categories. I uh, it falls in the category of Faraday. You three category three. Category three. You move the wire, not the magnetic field. All right. Can you C 
simplify the choices for us so that we can understand Isaac, them. Isaac, before that, can you draw the magnetic field? Alright. Okay, you want to draw it? So, the magnetic field originates from, no originates from the north there. Alright, so that magnetic field. Okay. Now, uh, 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 the, what, the wire is moving, right? That's right, wire so is moving down. Can you show the location of the wire a few seconds later? Yeah, so wire, the wire is moving down. So a few seconds later, it might be somewhere here. The wire is made of subatomic particles, right? That's so right. We are talking about electrons. That's so put right. some electrons, put some electrons on the wire one. Okay. All right. We know there are electrons there, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, three electrons fine, three electrons fine. Are the electrons moving or are they stationary? Well, since you're moving down the wire, you're carrying the electron with it, right? Yeah. If electron moves, who feels it? When the electrons move, the magnetic field sees that there is a charge moving. And if there is a moving charge, the magnetic field kicks the electron by a magnetic force. And this kick... Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Does that mean slow the down. magnetic force is uh, proportional to velocity? Slow yeah. down, slow down. We are talking about magnetic force. Why don't you write that? Write the equation of magnetic force. Okay. Well, mag uh, let me use red. Magnetic force gets stronger if you have a big velocity or a big uh, magnetic field or if you have a big charge. So all three of these are factors when it comes. There is other equation of magnetic force. Which way is the velocity, by the way? All right. Velocity is this way. Why? Because we're moving it down. we are moving the wire down. So as you can see, what we have to do is put our... Um, Put your fingers in the direction of which way you are moving the wire down, and then uh, curl, curl them down. in the direction of the magnetic field. Mm -hmm. And your thumb will point in, like my thumb. Can, that would be, you know, the direction of the current. Yeah, this is the direction of the current. But since we are talking about electrons, That's they have minus opposite. charge. It's gonna be this way because the minus sign kicks in here. So if we use our so right hand way. here. The velocity is this way, so we're pointing our hand this way, mm -hmm. and we curl it up in the direction of the magnetic field, which is this direction, and finally, we point this way, but that's conventional current, so we flip it out, we'll flip it around for electron current, so the electrons have to be moving this way. Well, can you explain why this is wrong? Which one? One. Um, because to one, can you read it? induce or create an alternating magnetic field which means a changing magnetic field between the poles of the magnet actually i believe i can explain it because alternating means changing so is that it, means is it current? yeah so that means we would have to be changing the positions of these magnets in order to create a changing or alternating magnetic field but it's shown in the question they're stationary so that means that we cannot induce an alternating magnetic field just by moving the wire. Now, uh, can you explain why 3 is wrong? Yes, so the resistivity... Uh, can you write of, the equation? Uh, not yeah. resistivity, it started with the resistance, good. Yeah. yeah. So L over A. And this is actually provided in your reference table. Mm -hmm. Phase number 2. That's right. So uh, as you can see, this is the equation for resistance. If you have... Uh, a uh, bigger if you have right row now row is yeah uh, let me just quickly say i believe row is largely dependent on just temperature and the material you're using so just moving the wire around isn't quite going to change its resistivity yeah if you saw i think that's that that's yeah that's the end of the story yeah yeah, yeah. and it's yes, also yeah. dependent on the cross section area and length uh do you know why because if you have a bigger <coughs> wire that means less resistance. Um, it's, it should be better if you write this equation in terms of rho L over pi R square. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Because well, the cross-sectional area cross you can write as pi R square. Which means but that's, yeah, that's assuming, yeah. That's this assuming circle. we have, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, by, by moving the wire up and down, you are not changing the radius. No. Yeah. You're not changing the cross-sectional area, the radius, or its length. So nothing is going to happen. Uh, explain why 4 is wrong. Okay, so reverse the direction of the magnetic field. That would the only way you can do that is by flipping, the flipping it. Yeah. Um, 
to get to this step, a uh, lot of things happen. So first, oh, you now induce, cross induce, right? Create because some students don't create and voltage. Right? If Potent they don't know what induce means, you're not. Uh, they're yeah. Feeling yeah. So potential difference instead of potential difference, right? Voltage. Okay. Remember voltage. Voltage. Um, uh, yeah, a potential difference, uh, also known as voltage, to on or who? Uh, Volta. Uh, okay. okay, so uh, so the first step is you put the two uh, magnets that creates, okay, two magnets creates a magnetic field. Two, uh, the two magnets here create uh, magnetic field. Good. Okay, the next, so that's uh, step one. Step two is you put a wire between the two magnets. So here are your two move magnets. Move the wire up and down. Yeah, that's step three. So first you put the wire, and there is still a magnetic field, obviously, and that doesn't do anything. Uh, but when the wire is uh, still, nothing happens. There is no. Um, because the electron doesn't move. No electrons move. Why doesn't the electron move? Well, the magnetic force didn't kick in because there is nothing moving. So that's step. Two, nothing is happening. No, uh, no, in, oh, no voltage. I, I just realized something. Uh, yeah. Your, your presentation coming next. No, I just realized something not related. Okay. So now, for step three, you can see I'm going to 3D. Um, I still have my magnetic field, right? Uh -huh. I still have my magnetic field. I still have my wire, but now something is different. <laughs> I'm gonna move my wire because I see when I keep it still. Um, there's no, uh, there's no voltage. no voltage. Yeah. So I move my wire. What happens? Well, what happens is the magnetic field, it exerts a force only when it sees moving charges. And now it sees I'm moving these electrons. So it's going to start to kick in. So, so now after I move the wire down, so here is the wire. I move it down and the magnetic field is obviously still this direction. Now the magnetic force kicks in. Uh, v cross B flip. And so now it exerts, it starts to uh, kick. It kicks the electrons. It kicks the electrons. And so step five is when you start to kick the electron, they start to move. And so moving electrons is the current is is a current so step uh, five is um, is where you have current so and we saw the using the right hand rule the direction of the current is this way so that's that's the explanation okay. does the current come from the current comes from moving electrons why are the electrons moving the electrons initially start to move because you moved around the wire and then the oh, mag that's it. Okay. Wait, but that, uh, then you said they moved even after I stopped moving the wire. Why is that? Because the magnetic force kicks the electron. Why the, does the magnetic force kick the electrons then and not when the wire was stationary? Because the magnetic force only acts on moving charges. Uh, where does the magnetic force come from? The magnetic field. Where does the magnetic field come from? The two bar magnets. Oh. Wow, that was great. What we'll to find is the direction of our force. Alright, so we can do this using a variation of the right hand rule. So, let's put our thumb in the direction of the current. Can't like poke in the smart board because it'll fall over. But then, we see that it our fingers are going inside our board. So, it kind of looks like this. Since this way is east, then this way must be north. So, that means that this is going north. Our direction of our force is north.